either we brew, 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 brew them. Hello, boys and girls, my name is Hot C and welcome back to another day in Minecraft without mining. And with the uh, gold that we uh, set up the farm for in the last episode, uh, we are now prepared, at least in part, to deal with villagers. We want to have a villager farm, and to have a good one, we need to have the best traits. And we get them by repeatedly infecting villagers with uh, zombies and then curing them. To cure them, we need uh, golden apples. That's where the gold comes in. And we need potion of weakness. And there are two ways. Either we brew, 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 brew them, or we get a tipped arrow of weakness. And that's exactly the way we go, because we do not have any blaze powder for any brewing. So let's hope we get a villager that can supply us that trade. I have prepared here a bit of a setup for the curing of villagers and to do that besides the golden apples we will need a Fletcher because a Fletcher uh, on their uh, last trade they have tipped arrows and um, there we have a 1 in 70 chance that they have the, the right uh, arrow, uh, but we also have a 1 in 3 chance that they do not have an arrow or a tipped arrow trade at all. So overall it's about 1 in 25 that we get a villager uh, with, the, with the correct trade. And um, then, of course, uh, we have to trade them up all the way. So let me know your guesses how many tries it takes us before we get a Fletcher with the tipped arrow of weakness trade that we are after. And here we have him. The lucky winner who has arrows of weakness, which we will take a whole bunch. And uh, we will leave him uh, here for now and we will reroute the rail through here and then build up a proper uh, system for infecting villagers here uh, and uh, healing them down there. The next step in our big master plan is getting a zombie in there so that we can uh, zombify the villagers from up there down here and for that we need to get a zombie from somewhere where we have not lit up. So let's wait a bit for night time and then hope this is not going terribly wrong. First, of course, we have to make sure that the zombie can actually hold something so that it does not despawn. And later on, we will give him a, a sword uh, once we have it in place.
Very nice. And with the uh, truck there in front of him, will not uh, will not cross it and picked up the sword. That's what I like to see. And let's lock him in there. And then I can start building up the rest of this contraption. The villagers are coming in here, turning over there, fall into the gap, and then trigger this observer through the uh, uh, the string there, uh, basically pulling this block out, depowering uh, the powered rail. And when the zombie converts the villager, they jump out, touching the string again, which then lowers the, the block again, and the minecart is moved over, where we can cure them with a bit of a weakness arrow and a golden apple, and then uh, lower them manually down here, where we can figure out what uh, profession they will have. Once we're satisfied with that, we can send them on the way and either go up here uh, and basically do the same again. So we can uh, increase the amount of reduction that we get. I think the maximum uh, is five times after that we do not get anything more or we can send them further on here directly over here down into the pit of lava uh, where we then could collect the minecart down below and we need that basically because um, uh, if we are looking for a trade that's not the first one, we have to trade them up and then in the end might figure out um, it's not what we want. However, if it is what we want, we can send them uh, um, this way. Uh, that's the right level. And they go out here uh, into our, our village trading hall that we will have to build next time. And of course, uh, we can also have them go that way, bypassing all this, and then down here, uh, either turn this way so we can choose a trade uh, or this way directly into our village hall so i think we will try this out with a librarian uh, to get a good deal All right, we have our zombie villager. And let's cure him. I only need one apple. All right. And now we wait. And there he goes, and already took up the, the profession of a librarian, and I want a bookshelf and a good book trade. So uh, we might do this for a while until we hit on the right combination. While I eventually 
want to have all the the books well maybe not the the, the lower uh, types um, those are not necessarily the first books that uh, I aim for uh, basically uh, the first ones are the ones to gear up like uh, protection mending unbreaking uh, and then of course uh, things for the weapons and for the gear and here we have one sweeping edge three that's the best sweeping edge that we can get uh, plus a bookshelf so uh, let's grab some diamonds let's buy a bookshelf and then I think we are done here um, we do not we could lower that further down so we could get a one bookshelf for one diamond um, but we do not need to to overdo it so to send him on we just power this one and he's sent over there and with that sorted out we are at the end of this zombifying curing villager episode and uh, I really have to see uh, where we can store all the villages that we can now get uh, so we can really uh, gear up. So that's for next time and probably we will manage to do that uh, just in time for Christmas. So see you then. Goodbye.